you know things about Formula One. Yep. So you're going to like take me through the Formula One season. All right. I know very little, almost nothing about Formula One, so I'm going to need a lot of help. First question, can I call them race cars? Yes, they are the ultimate in race cars. Tell me a little about the Formula One season. Started with Australia. Oh, that's, that was the first race. That was the first race of this season. Vettel names his car Hungry Heidi and his... He named his car what? Hungry Heidi. Does all the cars have awful names? They like to name them after models. That's probably something in reference to Heidi Klum. Like, if I was Heidi Klum and someone named a car Hungry Heidi, I would be very she would probably offended. Be pretty offended. Raikkonen, who was racing for Lotus this year, during the entire race was completely silent. They were trying to talk to him. He just didn't talk back. And it worked. He won. This started the problem with the tires for the season. What's what, what's up with the tires? They started exploding left and right. <laughs> Pirelli's this season. Who's Pirelli? Pirelli is the tire company. Yeah. Exactly. And it's one Italian dude sitting in his shop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're driving a car wrong. You don't know how to drive. And then they went to Malaysia. In this race, Sebastian Vettel, he was told not to pass his teammate Mark Webber. They gave him a team order that said multi-21. Vettel ignored the order and went by him anyway. These guys have been at it since they started. Not last year, but the year before, they crashed each other. Lewis Hamilton switched teams for this year. He moved from McLaren to Mercedes. He got so used to going into the McLaren pits that in this race, instead of going into his correct pit box, he went into the McLaren pits. I heard that he did the same thing later that day with an ex-girlfriend and it got him a restraining order. <laughs> Is that true? No. So, then we move on to the Grand Prix of China. Hamilton was very pleased with this. He takes pole. Uh, I don't know what pole means. And pole I don't position. want you to tell me because what I'm imagining is way more funny. Plenty more complaints about the tires. They're blowing more. Weber's luck continued to be very, very bad. He crashed with one of the slower guys, Jean Eric Verne, and then lost a wheel. Fernando Alonso wins. Big deal. Everybody expected Ferrari to be the one to catch the Red Bulls this year. But Raikkonen, even with a damaged nose, still finished second. So it gave everybody a little bit of hope that it's, it might not be another year of Vettelathon. When they moved on to Bahrain, it was also fraught with trouble. Explosions near the track. Did they do anything to the cars to make them safer for that kind of environment? Put, like, guns on them? Oh, like, they really armor. should have. <laughs> Vettel wins again. It's not that big a deal. But then we had a bit of a thing with Lewis getting kicked out of his old garage. I'm just imagining him showing up at the garage being right. like, hey! Hey. Yeah. That concludes like the like the beginning part of the season. Certain patterns are emerging. Tires are exploding all over the place. Sebastian Vettel. He's doing really well. Everybody is hoping he's going to have bad luck at this point. They're poking their voodoo dolls. <laughs> there was still lots heating up in the rest of the season.